In this video we're going to be looking at some tips and tricks for folded plates and the effect that your modeling can have on your drawing output for folded plates. So the first thing we're going to look at is how the folded plates are shown in fabrication drawings and how they're orientated. So that all comes down to how your UCS is set when you start modeling the individual plates. If my UCS was pointing down, the plate, when it's created in the fabrication drawing, will always look on the X and the Y down in the direction of the Z. So I have my UCS set how I want. Now I'll create my plate. This is something that can't be overridden for folded plate drawing. So when I create this folded plate, we will be looking from the top down onto the plate. If your UCS is created any differently, it uses the UCS when the plate was created, and that's how it sets the detailing direction. And like I said, that's something that can't be overridden. So we're just going to rotate our UCS, and we're just going to move it, and we're just going to put some other bits and pieces in. We're just going to change the position of this plate and make it 300 deep. Just going to create a little box. And then we'll just copy everything around. We'll use transform elements. So now we have our plate, we're going to fold them up using the create folded plate without position adjustment. The first plate that you click on in this command becomes the main object of the folded plate. So I'm choosing the plate at the bottom and we're going to fold that one in. And then we'll just fold all the sides in. And then we'll fold a top to create a box. Now, the way we can check this is every plate that you model in advance deal has an X to define the center point of the plate. On a folded plate, the main object of the folded plate will display as a crosshair, so a cross with a circle in it. Everything gets folded out from this plate. So if we go to realistic and we unfold this, Do I have the top folded in? I've missed a fold on the top, so I'll just put that back in. So on folded plates, if we double click on the plate and go to display type unfolded, everything is folding out from this plate because this is the main plate. Now, if you've accidentally clicked the wrong plate first, you don't need to delete everything and start again. There is an option here to set the folded plate main object. So I can click that, and if I choose this front plate, that then becomes the folded plate main object. And if I double click on it, I'll go to realistic so everyone can see. If I double click on that to unfold it, you'll see that everything is folded out from this plate now. 
Uh, another little tip and trick we can the system will actually check that your plate can be unfolded so we we'll choose check unfolding select your folded plate and it will say in your command line the selected folded plate can be correctly unfolded do you want to display the unfolded representation so we'll say yes that then gives us a temporary uh, sort of block showing us what our folded plate will look like so as we're heading towards Christmas we thought we'd just do something a little bit festive so this is a box but it needs a ribbon and a bow so I have already created the ribbon it just looks like I need to move a couple of these plates up and then what we'll do is we'll fold these together need to move these down as well looks like I've got these in the wrong position so we can just use a normal AutoCAD move for those if we know the dimensions and then using the folded plate with position adjustment will put the folds in for me So there's our box with our wrapping. Just to finish it off, I'm going to put a little bow in. So I have some lines on a construction layer. So I have my little bow. I also have my polyline shape. So what we can do is for the bow, we'll use a twisted folded plate so choose one line choose the other line six millimeters thick they needed to go on to a particular layer And then for this part of the bow, I've got a polyline, so we can use the plate at polyline command. That will then create our bow, and then we can just mirror those items. From the midpoint of one of these if it will let me pick it up and that then is our Christmas present created with the folded plate functions in advanced steel